Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial from LightroomFanatic.com. I've got an old drawing tablet that I've been experimenting with and trying to figure out what else I can do with it. And one of the things that I came up with was annotating images inside of Lightroom. Over at LightroomFanatic.com, a lot of the posts that we have um, include a number of screenshots. And while I try to crop the screenshots to highlight the particular part of the screen that I want the reader to take notice of, sometimes that's not enough. There's a lot of software available that would allow me to annotate the images by drawing arrows or otherwise highlighting particular things of interest, but I really didn't want to have to leave Lightroom to go to another piece of software. Lightroom isn't just a big part of my photography workflow, it's actually a big part of my blogging workflow as well. I'll capture screenshots and bring them into Lightroom for processing and then export directly from Lightroom to my blogs. So it'd be really nice if I could do some sort of annotation inside of Lightroom so that I don't have to incorporate uh, another tool into my workflow. So the technique that I'm going to show you now you, you can do with a mouse. Uh, I'm going to use my, uh, my tablet just because I find that using a pen makes it easier to do some of the drawing and some of the fine-tune uh, precision work uh, over using something like a mouse. But, uh, but certainly the technique applies to, to mice and other input devices as well. So to get started I'm going to pick the adjustment brush tool and I'm going to use the color effect and pick a nice bright color. In this case, we're gonna use a nice bright yellow. And then on the size, um, it sort of depends on the image and, and what it is you're gonna draw, but I found for the most part for some of the fine-tuned annotations that I've uh, been experimenting with that having a smaller brush is better. Uh, make sure your feathering is turned all the way down, your flow, your density are all the way up to 100, and that's gonna give us the strongest brush that we can get. And then finally, make sure your auto mask is turned off. Now with those options set, let's say that I wanted to annotate and highlight the exposure slider here on this screenshot image. So what I could do now with my adjustment brush is to simply draw an arrow pointing to the exposure slider. And that's it. The benefit here is that I don't have to leave Lightroom to, to add uh, this annotation. Uh, certainly there's other software out there that has more powerful tools and uh, and things that uh, might be useful in, in other scenarios. But for the most part, if all I'm trying to do is highlight a particular slider or, or tool on a screen, uh, this is gonna work just fine. You can actually also use this same technique uh, if you wanted to, and uh, there are definitely uh, better ways to do it. But uh, if you were just playing around and you wanted to, you can use this same technique to also sign your images. So again, you can use a mouse to do uh, to use the same technique, but I found for me uh, using a pen and a tablet gives me a lot more uh, options for, for what I can do. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, check us out over at lightroomfanatic.com.